Julie is here with us in the audience today. Yay, Julie! Um, so you got your checkup. Now, how was it? It wasn't so bad, right? No, it wasn't at all. Okay, and do you want to know about your results from the exam? Yes. Everything was great. You were all healthy. Everything was negative. You are doing just great. Why don't you go for regular checkups, though? All right? So you want to do that. And for those of you in the audience and at home, what you really want to know is that you have to start doing your own breast exam, your breast self exam, starting at the age of 20. And you want to do these, you know, right after your period because then your breasts are going to be less tender, less lumpy bumpy, and you'll get a much better exam if you do this after your period, right after your period. You also want to start from your collarbone to your uh, bra line. You want to go over as far from your armpit to your breastbone. People don't know that. You want to use the three pads of your three fingers here, and you just go around in little circles around like a target towards the nipple, or you can go out to end like in stripes. And you want to do this laying down, and you want to do this upright as well. So, and the biggest thing you want to do is look for change. Don't be so afraid about, okay, I got to try and find something. You just want to get to know your breasts, find out if there's any changes, if anything it stands out because you can define the borders of it, like a pea, grape, m and &M. You also want to look at your breasts, see if there's any changes in the skin. In. Just like uh, Dr. Funk said in the video, any dimpling, puckering, any skin color changes, all of those things are really, really important. And that's why this whole month is dedicated to breast cancer awareness. Dr. Lisa, thank you. Best of luck to you, Pam.